All right, y'all ready for some slow motion? We gonna pick this up, y'all. Y'all gotta stand up before we start this one. Come on, everybody, please, come on. We can't do this without, come on. Here we go. I know y'all can dance out there. Y'all back there, come on, y'all. Y'all don't wanna work with us tonight? Here we go, it's all good. We gonna do this slow motion. G-Spot, we're sitting here with Color Me Bad. Remember them? They came out with a debut album in 1991 that blew everybody apart. They had that song called I Wanna Sex You Up. We're sitting here with Sam. Also, KT, Mark Cauldron, and also Brian. He's uh, in the group. We got all four members here. Man, why don't you guys tell me where you guys are from? Uh, we're from Oklahoma City. Oklahoma Made City. in high school, yeah. We've been singing together for 13 years now. Uh, 13 years? Yep. Uh, you guys went to school together? Or? Yeah, man. We met in a high school and learned like a Levi's 501 Blues commercial for a talent show. You know, and that's how it all started. Uh, you guys just uh, just hang around in school and, and, and just hooked up that way or just through singing or how did, how did it go? Well, actually, uh, Mark and Sam knew each other since third grade. Brian and I had known each other ever since uh, seventh and eighth grade. Then um, Mark met Brian. Brian introduced me to Mark. And Mark introduced us to Sam and it just happened like that, you know. Yeah. We're just good friends and, you know, we all love to sing, so, you know, just have fun with it, you know. What I want to know, man, is how did you get the deal? I mean, how did it all work out? How did you guys know that you guys were ready for the big time? Well, you know, um, realistically, the, um, you know, when we did the first talent show and the girls started screaming and stuff, we knew that's what we wanted to do. So we worked very hard, you know, we practiced all the time during lunch hour, you know, before and after school, anytime, instead of going out on parties and stuff, we'd always be in rehearsal. And it was just that, um, you know, when people would come into town on tour, we'd make a point to just go to them and sing, you know, sing a cappella and everything, and just got a break of cool in the game, you know, they hooked us up. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I seen in your album you have Robert Bell from the leader of Cool in the Gang. He's got special shout outs. What what influence does he have with uh, Color Me Bad? Well, you want Yeah, actually, uh, we're talking to Mark. He's the one that started it. We used to go uh, whenever uh, 
we started getting closer and closer to graduating from high school. We started going to uh, different uh, concerts and everything, and take a demo tape, take a picture, and was like, hey, you know, we're trying to get, you know, get it started, you know. And uh, we met Cool in the Gang, Cool uh, took everything in and uh, stayed in touch with us and flew us out to New York. We started doing some demos and uh, we ended up moving out there and uh, doing what we had to do. Cool in the Gang, man, they like old school funk, Jungle Boogie and uh, Hollywood Swinging. I mean, are you guys influenced by some of that soul and funk and all that? Very much so. Uh, any uh, particular people that stand out in your mind? Uh, well, <laughs> I grew up listening to uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, yeah. Commodores, Ohio uh, players, Ohio players. Yeah. You know. Sly and Family Stone. Is that Sly? Sly? Yeah, Sly and Family Stone, Pete James Funk. Brown. Yeah, JB. Can't, can't forget JB. He was probably influenced. I mean, tell me about this first album, Mark. Maybe we'll direct it to you. Tell me about this debut album, because you hooked up with Hitman Howie T, right? He also did Chub Rock and, I mean, a few other people. But tell me about Roxanne. the original Roxanne. But tell me about hooking up both of you guys. Well, uh, Howie T, um, actually, we first met him. He, uh, Him and Dr. Freeze, they're the ones who uh, worked on the track, I Want to Sex You Up. And, yeah. yeah. And Dr. Freeze came to Oklahoma, and he presented the track to us. We fell in love with it. and. You know, that's how we got on with that. And, you know, after it was on the New Jack City soundtrack, it kind of like took off from there. And we had no album. The Giant, they were telling us, they were like rushing us, yo, y'all got to get an album out. So um, we started working on that. It took us, I think we recorded like six songs within two weeks, you know, we just rushing to get it out there because it was so hot at the time. And, uh, you know, hey, you know, it all worked out. It started doing really well for us. So, you know, that's when we started touring and all that. And, you know. Continue the success. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, there's a song that also stands out in the album called Amor A Me, right? Uh, 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 I Adore Me Amor. I Adore Me Amor, which is a great song, right? It's like spin off of a, a Stevie Wonder's Sherry Amor. Yeah, some, something like that. It's, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, we can do that. We, uh, we got the idea from, uh, from uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. They, we sang for them, you know, at a, um, at a convention and. Um, they suggested that we um, do a song in Spanish and English. Actually, Terry Lewis did, you know, and this was before we had a deal, so we went back to Oklahoma and wrote I Adore Me or More, it just came out, you know, so, and then added a little Spanish and stuff to it, you know, because Mark is, is um, half Mexican, you know, so, I want to do something? <laughs> Dream on, dream away I think I'm gonna have to stay Stay, stay forever I adore me say these guys just just got off stage so man I mean you know they just got finished doing a one and a half hour show for a bunch of uh, screaming ladies who are out in the audience who just went crazy nuts and as a matter of fact on the song I want to sex you up there was like 50 ladies up on stage yeah we like to have a party at all our shows it's just a party baby you must be making a lot of guys jealous, man, when you be showing up at shows, huh? I know you do. Right? Uh, I don't know. Did, did I make you jealous? <laughs> Not at all. I didn't bring my lady, though, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You know what I'm saying? And uh, tell me about the second album. What's the name of that one? It's called Color Me Bad Now and Forever. It's in the stores now. And uh, what were the big hits from that, man? What, 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 which one had the video? The Earth, the Sun, the Rain. And also the new song, the new single that's out called Sexual Capacity. So you guys got a remix album, are you? Sam, you want to tell me about yes, that? Yes, right. We got a remix album out there, and uh, we also have a second album. Actually, was Time and Chance. You know, oh, I'm sorry. Time and Chance and uh, Choose. <laughs> on it. And this is actually the third album now in Forever with uh, Earth, Sun, the Rain, Sexual Capacity on it. Yeah, so you're right. There's right. four albums out there by Color Me Bad, and plenty more to come. And, and tell them, tell them the singles off of, off of that is uh, Sexual Capacity. No, oh. off of the second, second album. Second one. I did. 
Tom and Chance and Cheese. Oh, I'm sorry. You happy? All right, who had a margarita? That's what I want. Somebody, somebody had a zombie or something. Long Island iced tea. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, just, yeah. I was just brain dead for a second. <laughs> That's all. And is there anything we can look out for? You guys have any uh, movie or television projects coming up or anything like that? Yeah, actually, I got a movie coming out where, you know, I'm a hero. And uh, yeah. Schwarzenegger, you know, I beat him up in the movie. I beat, no. I beat Sylvester Stallone up, too. He's playing Sean Penn's double. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's playing Sean Penn's double? Is that yeah, right? I guess oh. so. Okay, that's it. Anything, uh, guys, uh, coming up? Uh, what's the next album? Anything collaborative? Oh, actually, you guys in the studio? Actually, just, just out here uh, in San Francisco, we just got done recording... Uh, some backgrounds for a Patty Austin tune. Oh, Patty Austin, yeah. Yeah, she uh, also works with Quincy Jones and a uh, bunch of artists. As a matter of fact, she was uh, discovered by Quincy Jones. She used to like sing when she was like four She's years bad. old. She's bad. She she is very hot. She's hot. That that girl can blow. She yeah. can blow. Yeah. Even your boys Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis got an album with her. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. In the heat of heat. Boy, hey man, um, you know what? We're gonna, um, you know, uh, go out with. Maybe you can take us out with like a little acapella of uh, "Sex You Up" or something like that. Something, something like that. But you guys got any shout outs before we get out of here, man? Anything you want to say to the public, Oakland Bay Area? Go ahead. Definitely like to shout out to all the fans and stuff for giving us your love and your support. We'd like to um, thank you all for being waiting on us. I know we've been out of the public side for a minute, but you know, we appreciate all your letters and you coming out to the shows and everything. And first and foremost, we like to shout out always to God for giving us the blessing and the gift of voice and for blessing us to be here for you. Also, I'd like to make a shout out to some family I got here, Ronnie, uh, Taina, Raven, and Sally, and also the Bianca Nellos. Yeah, Mark, or anything? Just much love to everybody. Thanks for all the support. You know, we'll be coming out with a new album real soon again. So, you know, be looking out for it. Shout out to your barber, man. You cut your hair, man. You don't look like the, the new album right there. But you in the house. <laughs> it was hot, you know, summertime and all that. So, you know, cut summer, the hair. Summer, summer, yeah. You look cool. Got any shots, man? Yes. I'd like to thank all the radio and the television and all the fans for supporting us. You know, it's been like a couple years since we've been out, man. and, and as many artists say it, we really mean it from our hearts, man. We've been singing together since we were in high school. And we're in this business because we love to do it. And that's the only reason, you know. And so it feels real good to come out and do shows and, and see that you still got people that remember who you are and, and like to listen to your music and just get into it for the, for the feeling of it, you know, because that's what we're into it for. So thank you very much. Yeah. This is not the last time we're going to see you fellas out here in the Bay Area, right? Or any time... Right. Nah, we'll be here as long as our fans want us. We'll be here, we'll be here. Just call our names and buy records and we'll be here. <laughs> yeah. I'm G Spot. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. We got Sam Waters here. Yeah. We got KT, which is Kevin Thornton. Also, Mark, Mark Calderon and Brian Adams. Actually, his name is Brian Abrams. <laughs> Abrams. I'm sorry. Hey, color me bad. Support them. They're going to be out. Fellas, you want to take us out with something? Yeah, you want to do, 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 do some Jackie Wilson or some. Uh, some good. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah. How about some uh, or something? Or something, right? Yeah. How I will love you for the earth and my feet. A little bit high, right? No, that's cool. How I love you for the earth and my feet. Oh, here we go. How I love you for the earth and my feet. How I love you for the sun in the sky. How I love you for the falling rain. Oh. I will love you for the heart that could break. I will love you for the dreams that we share. I will love you for the falling rain. Oh.